Hi, this is Kevin Deal from Upscale Audio, and today we're going to talk about one of my favorite things in the entire world, the Manly Chinook Special Edition Mark II. Now, everybody knows that the Manly Steelhead is the best tube front of stage that you can buy. I mean, it's been like that for like 13 years, and it's still the one that people always want to compare other phono stages to. But the Manly Steelhead is $8,400. And not everybody's got $8,400. The Manly Steelhead lets you run three different cartridges at once. Not everybody wants to run three cartridges at once. But if you want the performance of a Steelhead and you don't want to spend that much jack, that's what we're talking about with the Manly Chinook. Now, why is it Manly makes such a great phono stage? Because they have engineering chops that other companies just don't have. Manly makes components that go into recording studios. They make products that are intimately involved in the making of records. So for them, making a funnel stage is a rather easy endeavor and their engineers kind of know what's going on to really squeeze the most out of vinyl. So the Manly Chinook is incredibly popular and other phono stages that we sell if it's a good one we're probably going to sell four of them maybe six of them in a 12-month period and i looked the other day <clears throat> we sold 62 chinooks in the last 12 months and why is that it's because it's so damn good it's also because we came out with a chinook special edition i looked inside this phono stage and i said oh my god it is badass it has unbelievable flexibility. It has adjustable loading for both capaci or adjustable capacitance for moving magnet cartridges and adjustable loading for moving coils and it's super 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 flexible in that way. And I looked at it and I said good god look at this huge toroidal power transformers. Most companies are not going to use toroids because they cost too much money but Manly does. Look at the pr uh, printed circuit board and the quality of it. Look at these big giant caps. Phenomenal quality caps. Great resistors. Everything. Soup to nuts. I could not really find anything to improve. However, being a tube roller, we had found some really special tubes that we could put into this funnel stage. Then we got rid of the rack mount holes because people don't want rack mount holes. So now at Upscale Audio, you can get it because we paid extra to do this. You can get it with a black faceplate, a silver faceplate, or the standard manly color. So what happened? We sold a jillion of these, continue to sell a jillion of them. And I had some customers calling up that had some wacky cartridges that just are a little off the beaten path. Super low output moving coil cartridges, a few moving irons and high output moving coils that maybe are a little lower than the norm. So I went to the Manly engineers and I said, can we come up with a solution to this? And they were so cool about it. And this is what they came up with. We have jumpers, one here, one here. The Manly Chinook comes with 45 dB of gain for moving magnet cartridges and 60 dB of gain for moving coil. But to get more adjustability, we have two jumpers, move them, and now it's 50 dB of gain in moving magnet and 65 dB of gain in moving coil. So if you've got cartridges that have 2.5 millivolt out, I mean, and this is something you have to listen to to see what sounds best to you. But if you've got a low output move or high output moving coil cartridge or moving magnet cartridges, you might want to use 50 dB of gain. And if you have a really low output moving coil cartridge like the Ortofon Quintet, the Cadenza, the Audio Technica Art 1000, I mean, there's actually a number of cartridges that have, let's say, 0.3 millivolt out or even less, switch it to 65 dB of gain. So now, four different game levels. Eminent flexibility, it future proofs it for my customers. And that's what I wanna do, because I'm on your side. So now that we're looking at ways to tweak this out, I cast a suspicious eye at the tubes that we had chosen for it before. And we have these tongues from tubes uh, that are so popular in uh, PS Audio BHK components. 
and they're PCC88s. I've got them on the website and you can just buy them if you have a Chinook. But what I did was I took these tongue shrimp tubes and we graded out the best ones, the very, very best, in a moving coil phono stage, listening to each one with headphones, made sure that they have a perfect internal balance. Then we have them cryogenically treated. Then we send them to the Manly factory. They test them because they want to do that because they're perfectionists too. And then they install them into this, the special edition Mark II. We've taken this phono stage another notch up in flexibility and in sound quality. This is like one of the most exciting things ever. I absolutely love it. Manly Chinook, special edition, Mark II. I want you to call us up, come to our beautiful 10,000 square foot store, go to our website, we will get you the hookup. Listen, I promise you, we will treat your system like it's my system. Oh, one more thing. Some people go, oh, I've got a tube preamp and power amp. I shouldn't have more tubes. I don't know where that comes from. That's crazy. The reason you get a tube phono stage is because it will breathe more. There will be a greater difference between light and dark and loud and soft. That, just like it did for your preamp, just like it did for your power amp. There's no such thing as too many tubes. I mean, sometimes people ask me that and I wanna just, no. I don't know who you're talking to. Listen, put it into an all tube system. It rocks, because we've done it here a lot of times. Give us a call, we'll get you the hookup. Thanks.